What have I waited for? What have I begged for? Silence. Garage? This is your safe place? There's no basement. I heard on the radio these things are going through people's houses. Oh, but they're skipping over garages, huh? I'm sorry, my timeshare was booked. You still got the cotton here? Yeah, it's, it's back there somewhere. I got it. All right. So what are these things? You think I know? Well, you're the scientist. Didn't think it was possible. Something from outside our solar system. They're clearly not friendly. All we need to know, I guess. Would be nice to know how to kill him. Sneeze on him. Worked in War of the Worlds. Don't think that's gonna work this time. Look at this place. You know, I doubt we're safe here. I doubt we're safe anywhere. What's that for? We can't stay here. Well, I can't exactly go anywhere. And why are you here? I knew you weren't gonna take care of yourself. And I would have been fine. Yeah, you sure look fine. What happened to you? You were always the strong one. <laughs> Strength is ignorance. Profound. Did they teach you that in seminary? Or did you catch that bullshit somewhere else? I didn't have to come here. Yeah, well, where else would you go? You can't escape. I don't think you'd want to be stuck out there. Dropping out? Is 
So does this mean dad was right? I always thought this is what you wanted. Well, so did I. It's because of what happened? Look, life is just a series of random events. I don't think there's anything beyond that, just chaos. And only the slightest hint of order to keep us guessing. You actually believe that? I believe in doubt. It's in the air we breathe. It's the endless ocean humanity mistakes for land. I would have taken anything, any reason not to feel this way. But there's only silence. You know, I should be happy. This is remarkable. This is proof that we're not alone, that faster than light travel is possible. You're actually excited for what this means for the scientific community that will shortly cease to exist? Guess I'm just looking at the glass half full. Well, it's not really half full if the top half is blown off. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I really wrapped my head around the size of our solar system. Not our universe, not even our galaxy, our solar system. This little thing that gets drawn in textbooks and kids make models for science fairs. We've never even made a model or a drawing to scale. It's impossible. If we made a model where Earth was the size of a pea, Pluto would be a mile and a half away and the size of a grain of sand. And the kicker is, even if we could travel to Pluto, that's not the edge of our solar system. That's just where we stop talking about it in the classroom. But the edge, the actual end of our solar system is the Oort cloud. And to reach that, even with our best rockets, would take 10,000 years. 10,000 years. When I read that, I, I wept. I don't know why, I just did. We have no idea how utterly small and insignificant we are. There's something profoundly beautiful and humbling about staring into the vastness of this empty universe. And to think, to think we somehow matter in the grand scheme of things. Nice dream. I thought you always told me that the vastness of the universe just serves to show God's power. <laughs> Didn't think you paid attention in Sunday school. Is this all random? 
Are we really deserving of this pain? Do you care? We can't stay here. I, I can't move. Maybe, maybe you should just leave me no. here. Dad can hear you. Well, he can't hear me. Some junkie made sure of that. I just don't even know who you are anymore. going out. No, I have to. We have no food, water. Your leg's going to rot off. It's already starting to smell. Well, that's embarrassing. I'll be back. I promise. You're going to get killed out there. I'm going to find help. Find help? Or just run? You honestly think I would run? No, no, I... I'm sorry. I'm leaving this with you. How are you gonna defend yourself? I was hoping you could find it in that apostate little heart of yours to say a prayer for me. I gotta ask again, who's this for? It's not like one little gun is gonna be doing much against these guys. Gee, thanks, I feel safe now. I love you, big brother. I love you, too. I, uh, I want to apologize. No! We'll talk when I get back. I'm not going to be able to lock the door. Well, uh, I'm, I'm not sure that really matters. <laughs> Besides, got old Blasty here. It's worth. I'm sorry you stopped believing. I'm not. Only that which has been tested by doubt is worth believing. He should have said his own prayers. Maybe you'd listen to him. Was I wrong? stir within me when I was young? Did I stop listening? Did you stop speaking? Is the distance between us too great? Or is the only sound in our universe an eternal silence?
Don't give up. I found help, but we gotta go right now. Frick. It scares the crap out of me. You came back. Come on, boys, we gotta go. I found help. Are you ready? Thanks for watching this short film and I hope you enjoyed it. At Stories by the River, our goal is to make engaging movies that open up opportunities for conversation that might not otherwise come up. We very much believe that the world is relational and that everybody has a story to share. And so we invite you to go to our website and explore some of the other movies we have there as well as the bonus materials for this film, which can be used in classrooms, group settings, and even churches. It's all available at storiesbytheriver.org. Thanks.